Is this music to your ears uh, that there is now a Eurosceptic bent coming out of Michel Barnier himself, or is this just playing to the crowd? No, let's be very clear. It's quite uh, funny to hear Michel Barnier talk about sovereignty, the legal system sovereignty. And uh, maybe, you know, he has learned something from the negotiation for Brexit. He has learned that a sovereign country has more, let's say, uh, has more to do in the world and is uh, able to do your own policies. But he is quite uh, hypocrite because you cannot uh apply what what he means to do because he does not want to leave the european court of justice of the european court of human rights he, he says we will just won't apply it uh, regarding uh, immigration which is uh, not compatible because if you are serious you know that being within the european union you cannot do anything about legal immigration because it's written in the European treaties, or for example, the, the main source of immigration in France, it's a family reunification, and it is a, a European directive. So you cannot change it. Uh, basically, I think he is, uh, he is playing the, the crowd, Michel Barnier, definitely. But it's quite funny to, to see him doing that, because you, you may have seen it you know, in Twitter. I have answered to, to, to this tweet, uh, which wasn't basically not by Michel Barnier account, but by the, his own political party, uh, Les Républicains. And I answered, so what do you mean if you want to take back your own, uh, your own uh, sovereignty? It's Brexit. And this uh, tweet has many, many uh, you know, likes. And then they deleted this tweet and they, <laughs> they put it again. And Michel Barnier has reacted and he, he has said, I'm just talking about the immigration policies. Obviously, we won't leave the European Union, you know. So he's quite trying to play the current news that is in political campaign because it's not serious to propose uh, such a thing. Normally, if you're consistent, you say, yes, I want to take back control of immigration, but sovereignty cannot be split. You are sovereign or you are not sovereign. So you say, I want to take back control of all the competencies to the EU. It's not only uh, immigration, the legal system, it's uh, also uh, the monetary policies, the economic and social policies. So Michel Barnier acts like a, a clone campaigning for, for the French uh, campaign. What sort of a chance? Your, your presidential elections aren't until next year, but it's, it's almost like the whole country's in campaigning mode already because there's really strong rhetoric coming from Macron as well. And they're all seemingly trying to face down the existential threat of um, Marine Le Pen. Um, but what sort of chance does Barnier stand if he were to become a candidate in the presidential race? Is it a good chance? Mm, I, I don't think so, because basically, you know, Michel Barnier is not very well known for the French people. Uh, he maybe is more known in the UK due to the, the Brexit negotiation, because actually Michel Barnier has spent uh, something like 15 years working for the EU. So it's even more surprising to, to see him uh, expressing some Eurosceptic uh, ideas. And he's not well known for for the French people. So I don't think even that he will be candidate because he has to do, you know, some primary within the Les Républicains uh, party. I don't think he will be elected in it. But if it were the case, let's say, I don't think he will have any chance to, 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 to win it uh, because it's so much link to, to the European Union. And this part, let's say, of the electorate is already taken by Emmanuel Macron. So I don't see him, you know, to, to, to have a better score at the first one than Emmanuel Macron. He, he, he won't be able to, to, to win it anyway. And politics in France is, is definitely changing. I mean, even as an observer sitting across the channel, uh, most politicians are now talking tough on immigration. You've got Barnier talking tough on the EU. It seems to me that uh, Brexit's been a bit of an inspiration. How are things looking for Frexit? How is your party doing and your movement? Is it gaining a lot of support? Might we see France follow the UK out in the future? 
I hope so, but, but you, you're totally right. We, we see all the uh, questions, let's say, about uh, immigration, about uh, taking back control on every field, about uh, the industry, about the economic policy, about the COVID-19 crisis. So all these, let's say, traditional sovereignist topics are definitely within the political game. But we see that um, we see that before every uh, presidential election, because this is what the people are expecting. But then when they, they come to power, they don't do it. So what we are doing with Generation Frexit, we are definitely pushing pressure on the candidates so that they include a referendum and the EU membership within their manifesto. Why? Because you, you can uh, promise whatever you want, but the, the, the main issue is the EU. So if we don't have, if they don't have this referendum within their manifesto, let's say that they are not serious uh, politicians, because it means that all the proposals that you do, you will not be able to implement it. So we are pushing hard uh, to, to, to have this referendum on this presidential election, but after it, so Generation Frexit won't, uh, won't uh, stop its action uh, until we get this referendum. So we are here, we are pushing for, for this referendum in the presidential election, but we will, uh, we will do it after it, maybe for the next European election. And we'll be here, and uh, that's, you, you, you write on the fact that all, let's say the facts, all the big news, uh, give uh, a big advertising for Generation Frexit because it's everything that we have said for uh, for years and that's what's happening. So I think we'll have a, a bright future. I hope you do. You've got backing from your friends across La Manche uh, with that. And uh, any tips or advice I can give you, I'm always the other end of the phone. Merci, Charles-Henri, and it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.